Hello guys, this is Austin here, and I'm here sh with a short tutorial on how to install mod loader and too many items. So first off, you have to have a WinWar or 7-Zip for this tutorial. I'm going to be using WinWar. I prefer WinWar than 7-Zip because I find it easier to use. So first off, I'm going to show you how to download WinWar. So you want to type in RAR Lab on like the Google search or on the top toolbar. Then go to www.rarrod.com. After you go to the website, click on download, which is on the left toolbar. And at the top there are two downloads. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is for Windows. I'm not sure about Mac. You might want to just check up on another video if you're a Mac user. Um, but download whichever bit system you use. I have a 64 bit, I already have it downloaded. So, yeah, you'll have to install it. After that, we are going to install too many items. I'll put the, all of these links in the description so you can do it. So, after you go to this page, you want to scroll down about maybe half, about maybe. 25% down. Then you'll find this download called Download for 1.1 2012 0112. Then click Download. I already have it downloaded, so no biggie. So I and I would save it to a file where you know the most. I save it to my desktop, so it'd be easy. And then after that, we are going to after that we're going to download a mod loader. This is not required for too many items if you're just looking to install too many items but I would use it I would download because say if you want to install their mods mod loader is probably is probably going to be neat in that mod so what you want to do is scroll down you'll see all these colorful writings and stuff you see a little more or less of Macintosh but it's okay um, then you'll find um, the section where all the mods are but on the first one, it's mod loader 1.1. Download AdFly or Direct. AdFly is just to help the person out. Direct's just if you're too lazy to wait there for like five seconds. Your choice doesn't matter. Like again, I already have it downloaded. Save it somewhere that you would know. Okay. So let's just minimize that. So right here, when you're at the full screen, you, you should have two files. Make sure you know where they are. So then you want to do is go to your start menu and type in run. Oops, run. Now for other users that might be like right there when you do something like that. But find run. Oops. Right. And when you get it, when you get to the run screen, you want to type in percent app data percent, then press OK or enter. Then you'll see a bunch of folders go on dot minecraft, then bin. So after you're here with 7zip or winwar, you want to go to open, open with, then winwar archiver. So let's just minimize that a little bit. You can minimize the dot minecraft folder. After that, delete meta int always like delete it right before you even do anything or it will make you get a black screen and will stop all mods from working you don't know why just it works just when it's deleted just do delete there you go gone so, so first we're going to install mod loader so let's go to mod loader highlight all the files you can also do control a but make sure you don't highlight that folder after that you want to drag all those files into the dot minecraft. Make sure that you put it in the dot class files, not in the folder files, because it will not work. So make sure that is on. Uh, make sure that is on. Add and replace files. After that, if you have all that done, say OK. Bam! You have mod loader installed. Easy and simple. So then, too many items. So same thing, just like mod loader. You just want to highlight it all. Make sure not to get the folder. Just put in the dot class files. 
Add replace. Say okay. Yeah. Now just to prove that this works, I'm just gonna go on Minecraft. Head on. <coughs> Login. See? No. See, it will work. I was going to tool. No. Let's just create a new world. Let's go. Blah, 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 blah. Create a new world. <coughs> Come on. What you doing there? Oh, do not worry about any of this stuff I have here. It's just another mod I have installed. I'll probably make another video about that also. But when you were going here, um, mine had was hidden just because uh, I had it hidden for I was doing stuff earlier and I wanted to show. But when you press E in the inventory, there you go. You have it all installed. You can do when you left click, it will give you a full stack of whatever you're clicking on. But then when you go over to delete mode, this is delete mode on. And you just click it, it will delete all the stuff that you want. I'm pretty sure if you do control like or shift, I'm trying to figure this out. Like, well, doesn't matter. Or you could also, or say, or you're too, too lazy to do that, you can also drag it into delete and just click it. Or you could just drag it right there and just delete it. It's nice and easy. Say if you only want one of something, just right click on it. It'll give you one of each, whatever you want. So yeah, that was how to install um too many items. There's also many other features to me like creative mode, rain, set time, set noon, and all that. And, okay, and what save does is okay, save all the stuff in my inventory. When you save, it'll come with like load one and X. X when you tools to delete it. So this is what happens. So say if you lose um all this stuff. All you have to do is just do load, and it will load back that whole, um, everything that you had in your inventory when you saved it. So it's actually very useful, um, I recommend it for anything, but make sure, yeah, just, if say, if something happened in the video, just go back over and watch it again, but hopefully nothing happened, happened wrong, so, hope you guys rate, comment, subscribe, and, just keep watching more tutorials, gameplays, let's plays, all that crap. See ya.